Hey guys, welcome back to the worst stage in the whole game, the submarine level. What's terrible about it? Everything, and you'll see in a minute. Oh, sorry, I thought we were going into a cutscene. Looks like they ran out of budget on this stage. Drake's training facility 007. We agree that the rockets to launch these astronauts into space are most likely harbored at Drake's missile disassembly works in the South Pacific. Although UN inspectors have given the island their seal of approval, perhaps your unofficial visit will reveal more. Agent McCall will provide backup. The Vanquish should provide the most discreet approach to Drake's island. Agent McCall, if you please. We're driving there? Precisely. <laughs> Ignore that sinking feeling, Agent McCall. Everything is under control. 007. <sighs> to infiltrate Drake's Island undetected. Look for an entry point and stay clear of patrols. So first problem, you can't see shit. In fact, you can see the game's built-in scan lines. Company, James. We should get out of the main channel. Go to the right. Again, this is a cool concept, but you're gonna see how terribly executed it is. Every- it's basically just a super linear path through the entire level, and then the end- and there are no checkpoints in the entire level, so if you die at any point you redo the entire terrible, slow, boring level. Sever their communications network, 007. That will allow you to engage the enemy without raising a general alarm. I wonder where I go. Your remote torpedoes aren't as powerful, 007, but they'll allow you to eliminate hard-to-reach targets. I don't think I really need to use them. I'll just use my normal ones. Once I can see anything. There we go. Keep them from radioing ahead. And now I can kill the ahead guy. So he should be right there. There we go. Avoid those sensors, 007, and try the V-12 Vanquish's remote control torpedoes. Alright. Uh, whoops, uh, supposed to go to remote torpedo. Which you actually control. And that's the other gimmick of this stage. Now sometimes you actually just want to go to remote, remote torpedo so that you don't have this on the screen so you can Thank see better. The distance, James. Those mines look nasty. Yep, these are instant kill mines. There are a lot of them. And you just can't bump into them. They're kind of annoying. But again, it's a cool obstacle, cool concept, just not done very well. And uh, you're probably already noticing one of the biggest problems with this stage is your car takes up so much of your screen that you can't see shit. You kind of have to know what you're doing by playing the stage over and over. Alright. These remote torpedo sections are actually really easy. But if you don't get close enough to the lasers, it blows up on the laser via magic. And again, don't touch any mines or else game over. Okay, now this part is really easy to get lost because it's not clear at all where you have to go. So pay very close attention. You go up here. Despite the camera going down, you have to go up and through here. Anywhere else is a dead end full of mines. And you could even see how the camera was fighting me that whole time. M, our worst fears are confirmed. Drake's been stockpiling nuclear missiles, not disarming them. 007, you must find a way to disable that arsenal. Okay, just go buy all these glowing things and mash B. That's all you have to do. It's really fast. You can't see shit will you do it. And you're getting attacked will you do it. But just mash B and then go up. Right, 007. Now get out of there. Where's this door? I don't know. I only know because I played the stage enough. They don't really show you where the door is, but it's up. If you go in a circle, you won't actually see it. it uh, uh, okay, I can kind of see. Uh, fuck it. We should follow that sub, James. It might be our only way into the base. And switch to remote torpedo so you can see better here, and you can't kill this guy or it's game over. So, all you have to do is follow him and avoid the uh, rockets, and you can't get too far behind or else these doors close behind him. 
Of course, you can't see his rockets half the time because you your car blocks so much of your view. Also, you have to know where cavens are going to be, or else you'll just ram into a wall and get lost. Again, a really cool idea having like an underwater twisty turny chase scene. Terribly executed. Also, if you just know where he's going, then you don't need to pay attention to him at all. It's a cool environment, though, I've got to give it that. But when, whenever you have to go up, you can't see anything! Oh, that turn always makes me feel a little bit sick. I didn't even lose any health on that one. So I completed the objective, despite not getting through here yet. Okay, so now I'm actually in the safe. I can kill this guy now if I want. Which I want to, by the way. But, no, no, he turned. Whatever. We don't need to deal with it. As long as we're careful. That's the last of those. Now make sure you get that armor, bigger, because there's an enemy coming up that can kill you in two hits. Yep. They're just about impossible to fucking see. So this is actually kind of difficult. And there's an attack sub coming up. That! James, that sub is blocking our access to the beach. That's the final enemy of the stage. You have to hit him with like two missiles, but he annihilates you, and you have no way of protecting yourself from him either than don't stop moving, or else he does that much damage to you in one hit. And then you lose, like that. That is how easy it is to lose this entire stage. Be back in a moment. All right, we're on take James, two now. To the beach. It's been another, I don't know how long. Feels like forever. How far away can I lock onto this guy from? There's one shot. There's two. Is that enough? Oh my god, I think I killed him. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I killed him. <sighs> Full armor, half health, one shot killed me. <sighs> okay, take three. Oh man, this is painful. I think the tactic I did last time was better though. I did get two shots before he got one. Okay, he just shot once. I shot. I shot twice now. Turn away. Complete. Is that it? I just need to place the other charge. Is it this one? I'm so disoriented. Objective complete. Let's get out. Oh man. That sucks. What a terrible stage. There's never valet parking when you need it most. <sighs> Bronze, fuck you. <laughs> god. Oh my god, I just spent so much time doing that. Oh, what a flagrant waste of my time. <laughs> the only game I'll allow to waste my time that blatantly is Earthbound, when it makes you sit there for three minutes behind the waterfall, because at least that was funny. <sighs> well, on the next episode we do the second worst stage in the entire game, Island Infiltration, and if memory serves, it's a really long, boring one. Until next time, have a nice day.